my article is called uh, Google uh, Bruise of a Browser. It talks about Google's new launch of a web browser that has fast capabilities and it's a really simple design. Uh, the name of the new web browser is called Chrome, and at the press conference, Google's co-founder, Serge Brin, announced that he will be starting a web browser that will face leading competitors Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer. Uh, why, so why would you want to try Chrome? Well, it's faster than Firefox. Uh, it has less complications than the Internet Explorer when it comes to toolbars. One simple address bar has a really simple design. So the only thing that you have to put in is the URL of the place you want to go to, and it'll take you right there in seconds. Um, and it also has a unique task manager that's completely new to any web browser. All right, so how do we know that it's faster? Well, Chrome has a priority system, which it uses to allocate speed between websites. So basically, whatever page you're visiting at a certain time, it'll have the fastest speed. So if you have a bunch of tabs open up at the same time, it won't allocate the speed between all of them. It'll just put it on the one that you're looking at. So, in other words, uh, bandwidth is not shared over multiple web pages. Your surfing experience is never, ever slow. As you can see, it's a really simple design, like I, I ever mentioned. There's just tabs, no file, edit, view, tools, options, just the toolbar that you put the address in, and back, forth, refresh. The task manager is one of the very unique things about the Google's new internet browser. Uh, it allows the user to immediately end any process like that of when you press control or delete on your computer. I'm sure a lot of you know about it. It's convenient for uh, closing pages that are slowing the browser. You don't have to close the entire browser at one time by doing this. A lot of you probably have had problems where your internet browser freezes and the entire thing has to be closed in order to get it back to normalcy. And this is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, you click on any one of these things that you have opened up at the time and you just go to in process right down there and it'll automatically shut the program down so it's not interfering with whatever you're doing and the whole web browser won't close down it'll just be that one thing another thing unique about the manager web browsers don't come with uh, these kind of things task managers are not for web browsers they're actually for operating systems like Microsoft and, and Mac so this is something completely new um, what, what it also does for you is it loads web-based applications and manages their memory and processor speed, keeps them from interfering with one another, so therefore the, the feature places the need for your CPU to have one. And that's one of the goals that Google is trying to accomplish. By having a task manager, it hopes that you don't actually have to use your computer's task manager. Google's trying to uh, fight its competitors. It's aimed on making the operating systems irrelevant by incorporating its own into the web browser. One of the things that it's really concerned about, however, is the fact that web browsers aren't usually incorporated, well, task managers aren't usually incorporated with web browsers. So taking on Microsoft or Apple, who have been doing this for you know, several years now, will be hard. And Internet Explorer by itself has 75% share of the market. So taking them down will be like, it's basically a monopoly in this sense. Uh, the remaining 25% of the market is divided between Firefox and Safari. So Google has a you know a big step as you can see from the little picture. There's their little icon on a little guy and it's fighting like Mozilla and Internet Explorer. Questions? Oh, it was actually on the article. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, they actually drew it on the article. I thought it was really cool, so I incorporated it in there. Yes, I think it's really good. I actually downloaded it at the start of the week when I decided to choose my article and when I looked at it, it, at first it was like a little slow, but then I actually realized that it's really, really fast because you can end things quickly and it really does have the whole allocation speed between what page you are viewing. So like if I'm on Facebook and I want to go right to like any other website, like MySpace, it, if I just type it in really fast, it'll come in the second I press enter instead of having to actually load it like any other web browser. It's really unique with that. Any other questions for Frazier? Thank you, Frazier.